you remember when Visa cards first came out? You were used to paying with cash or with a check, and then a Visa came out. It was this weird payment system that you didn't understand. And she said, yeah, I remember that. Said, well, Bitcoin is just the next evolution of another payment system. Press yourself, Nakamoto was the foundation. What up guys, it's your boy Nakamoto Crypto here, and today, today, today we got Akon himself is planning to build a cryptocurrency powered city in Senegal guys this is major breaking news on June 16th 2020 rapper Akon has agreed on a six billion dollar deal to build a futuristic new crypto city in Senegal so for those of you who used to talk about citadels this is gonna be a real live citadel witnessing in the making Akon city it is gonna be called which will be built just outside the capital city of Dakar has been in the works for several years now with the musician announcing back in 2018 that he planned to construct a real life Wakanda for those of you who don't know Wakanda, go back and watch the movie Black Panther. His ambitions are set to become a reality as news emerges that Akon has awarded a construction contract from the Metro Police. This is Akon's Twitter and this is the picture he tweeted. This is a real life citadel pretty much. For those of you who don't get what Citadel is, read the story of the Bitcoin time traveler on how he predicted in an amusing way that in the future people are going to be building these Citadels and they are going to be running on block chains guys. As funny as it sounds, well we are witnessing people trying to build them right now. Details are limited, but Akon will include a hospital, a mall, a police station, a school, and houses and hotels, all designed in a futuristic style, Akon shared via Instagram. The musician also planned a solar power plant, suggesting the new city will prioritize green energy. Inhabitants will buy goods and services using Acon's own cryptocurrency called Acoin, which will form the basis of Acon City's economy. Wow. A city that will run on by itself, it will include hospitals, malls, and police stations, schools and houses and hotels, and trades buy and sell. The, the main currency that they're going to be using is a coin also running on the blockchain guys who would have thought and bitcoin was created just 11 years ago now the report suggests that the first phase will be completed by the year 2023 which is three years from now with a second phase finishing in the year 2029 by which point the city is expected to be up and running wow so nine years from now a real life citadel is going to be up and running. Look at these pictures guys. And this guy Akon, he started a project basically called Light Up Africa and he lighted Africa. Villages and poor neighborhoods that, that would never ever ever dream of having electricity. This dude had given them electricity. People who never saw the light and their children are enjoying electricity, enjoying Wi-Fi, internet, and all of these luxuries that poor neighborhoods in the African continent couldn't get. Because of him, for the last few years, the work he has been doing in Africa has been tremendous, guys. To get a guy with this kind of caliber and power, getting into crypto, and got so inspired by crypto that he wanna build a city like this and he just got the funding six billion dollars now that is a story 
these are amazing pictures and that is the future of blockchain this is the future of crypto people building on top of this blockchain getting inspired by bitcoin so much that they want to build cities like this we are witnessing the future in the making right now and that was that next we got more than 8,000 Bitcoin ATMs are now operating worldwide. The number of crypto ATMs worldwide has gone to more than 8,000 just month after passing that $7,000 mark in March. So a total number of Bitcoin ATMs has now passed 8,000 worldwide. According to monitoring resource coin ATM radar there are currently 8208 atms in 73 countries allowing users to buy and sell bitcoin and altcoins for cash more than 6000 of those are in the united states alone the revolution will not be televised but the crypto revolution will be live citadels are being built as funny as it sounds somebody's trying to make that dream come through remember the bitcoin time traveler i'm gonna be covering him in one of these videos soon had talked about a futuristic world where people are gonna be having so much bitcoin like a minority of group which is gonna be pretty much us maybe in the future who have been buying in early into this crypto space who are gonna be so rich that the majority, the rest of the world, who doesn't hold Bitcoin, will not be able to get into those citadels. Now this is all fun and joke, of course, but again, somebody's out there, and his name is Akon, and he's trying to build one of these cities by the year 2029. The facts are there. And you see, circulating Bitcoin ATMs world wide mass adoption is right around the corner crypto mass adoption is coming and it is gonna hit hard next up we got cardano's price gets a boost as shelly upgrade inches closer and closer with the shelly upgrade only two weeks away from now cardano ada has recovered from a somewhat shaky weekend with a price increase of more than 10% guys. 10% increase. Cardano's ADA, the 10th largest cryptocurrency by market cap, is one of today's biggest gainers, having shot up by close to 10% since yesterday morning. Amazing. We had a little dip. We can't seem to be breaking that $10,000 mark just yet. But ADA have been recovering right up there. It has been recovering right up there. Soon as we have a little dip, ADA recovers right back up. At the moment, Bitcoin is sitting at $9,442. And Cardano is right back up to $0.08. Cents, $0.8.3. Cents, and yesterday it was just sitting above $0.07. Cents. So Bitcoin is down 0.49%. And look at ADA, Cardano is up 5.5%. Staking rewards, Shelly News, great project. People are walking towards Cardano. And if you remember the last bull run, everybody was talking about one particular coin, the number one alternative coin at the time. And that was Mr. Ethereum. It went from $6, shot up all the way to $1,400. And everybody's ICO, that was the ICO era. Everybody's ICO was getting built on the Ethereum network. Fast forward to where we are now, a couple of years later, it seems like every crypto cycle, there is a new project in the making. Right now, third generation cryptocurrencies is what everybody seem to be talking about. And Cardano is number one amongst all of those projects. Everybody in this era right now is talking about DeFi, decentralized finances. 
and staking rewards. Proof of stake, Bitcoin's proof of work, Ethereum and Cardano are getting into proof of stake. Everybody's talking about staking rewards. I mean, if, if you invest your money into the traditional stock markets, of course, this is no financial advice, only opinion stated here. But if you normally invest in your traditional markets, a lot of those, you don't get 10% a year. But with, with Cardano, you have an opportunity to get 10% per year. And it is a fixed supply. And crypto has its ups and it has its downs. These next few months are going to be decisive and amazing. Given everything that has happened in the last few months. 2020 has not been a great year. In fact, it's probably the worst year since the last decade we just got out of. 2020 might be the worst year. It is the beginning of a new decade. And we got number 19. We got fires happening. Countries having droughts. It is not raining. The economy is collapsing. The feds are printing millions and millions of dollars trying to cover it up. But for how long? Until it goes. And then the crypto revolution will begin from there. Because people might not trust their leaders and their banking systems in the future. Look at what is happening in Lebanon, in Zimbabwe, in Venezuela, who have resorted to the petrodollar, a cryptocurrency pretty much. They don't trust their government's currency so bad that they have resorted to creating their own cryptocurrency to keep them alive, to survive because of inflation. And most of these cryptos are deflationary currencies and they are fixed supplies. So it's not for nothing that people are calling them the greatest transfer of wealth since the creation of the internet. Yes, that is indeed cryptocurrencies. And on that note, I've been your boy Nakamoto Crypto. If you like the content, please, please, please don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe for some more daily crypto bangers and I'm out. Bitcoin under $8,000. Buy it. Bitcoin under $5,000. Buy it. Bitcoin over $10,000. Buy it. Bitcoin is over $20,000. Buy it. Bitcoin under $8,000. Buy it. Bitcoin under $5,000. Buy it. Bitcoin is over $10,000. Buy it. Bitcoin is over twenty thousand dollars. Best performing asset in the last ten years. So look into crypto. We need volunteers. Uh -huh. No need to tiptoe. It won't disappear. Do your research. History made it clear.